Disclaimer. Just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Okay, we have the center lines on the seat supports, and now we have these guys sticking up from the ends of the center lines to give us a reference, a reference on the actual uh, seat uh, seat base. So what we need to do now is uh, click or yeah, yeah, we need to click these guys in place. So these are a fours. <laughs> Okay, cool. So now there's our seat, very supported. You'll notice these holes that I just made marks. I just put those in there so that we would have a reference on the seat bases, uh, seat supports where the cent where these holes are, where yeah, where these this yes, where these holes are in the seat base. Right. Okay. So now let's get this guy and use it as a uh, square or a. Dang, I wish this was flat. Ugh. Ah. All right, we'll do it like this then. So now, put this up against here. Now this thing kind of moves around too, which is annoying, but should give us a decent reference. Okay, so I think something like this is correct. And then from over here, this is going to be a little trickier actually, because, like, a lot trickier. You know, on the last one, it was basically just below this line. So I've, I'm feeling pretty confident that if I make it just below that line, that it, that will actually be correct. Pretty confident. Fairly somewhat confident. Ah, jeez. Screw that. Let's get rid of that. Something like this. And then from here, if we can sort of eyeball it ish. Didn't I make a mark on that? I think I made a mark on that. I think the mark is right there. That looks like the mark. And if we match it up to there, we get something like this. And based on how the other one went in, I am confident that this will work. Very confident. All right. Let's do kind of the same thing over here. Draw our center line. Here's what we're gonna do, because as I said before, I remember that this hole should be, in fact, you know what? So this is why you take pictures as you build things. Because I remember that the center line of, of the seat supports were like about a, I don't know, maybe five millimeters or so below or aft of that hole. And I'm, well, here I'm kind of betting on it being like identical uh so essentially this line if we sort of well we could match it up like that so the 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 center line for the actual sort of the center line of the base is going to be past that hole five millimeters from the center of that hole let's do it the same over here so we'll do five millimeters from the center Oh, that might be, okay, let's do five millimeters from the edge. I take it back five millimeters from the edge of the hole. 
We'll still use our end points, but we'll go from the end points to the center point. Well, not really the center, but to that hole and draw this line. And again, this is just, this is basically just a reference. We actually have quite a bit of margin for error here. So that actually looks kinda, well, it only looks weird because of how we drew the other line before, so. Touche, touche line, touche. Now, after measuring things and looking at how I built the other one, we have a reference line that is basically like a center line for the seat supports, but but it's transferred onto the uh, seat base here. And this is five, this line is five millimeters aft of this hole. Really the only holes that actually matter in terms of the spacing and stuff are the bolt holes. And the reason why they matter is because the tracks, you want the tracks to be parallel. Because if the tracks aren't parallel, it's gonna be even harder for it to roll, for, for them to move. So this template right here, each corner, this actually didn't print out super great, but I think it'll be good enough and I just didn't really, you know, I didn't wanna like print out a whole other one. I think this will work pretty well though. So each corner, is where we want to make a mark for these bolt holes. And, uh, oh yeah, it's actually, it's not gonna match up for these top ones, that's right. So yeah, so the top, the, the, part, the part of the track that actually bolts onto the seat pan, that holds the seat pan to the tracks is larger than what, than, than, the, than the bolt holes for that, that hold the seat tracks to the seat base and, and the the seat base and the seat supports. Right, okay, cool. So, so now also the other thing about this line is it should be, as it is right here, which is actually pretty good, it should be 280 millimeters apart. The, the two lines should be, as it shows here. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. They're showing, what are they showing here? They're showing 275 millimeters. I think all these lines, man, it's like a optical illusion. Okay. Well, I'm getting 280. Now, how do they have 275 when it's actually the actual distance is two? I think those distances are wrong. Did somebody else say that those distances are wrong? I thought I remember watching, I watched, you know, on John's video, do the home build help video. They were talking about the seat support and they said some distant measurements are wrong or something. Zenith, you gotta change that if that's wrong. I mean, this is copyright 2012, man. I've had like eight years to fix that. You gotta change that if it's wrong. I don't know if it's wrong. But in any case, 275 millimeters from the center line there to the center line there, because maybe, maybe I was just off a little bit. I don't know. In any case, what I do know is that the actual holes that w the holes that work well and and we'll have some tolerance to play around with uh for the attack for attaching the tracks to the seat base and the seat supports is 280 millimeters and that's what my template is and it's 295 millimeters uh you know side to side left to right and or distant distance between the tracks i mean between the two tracks in any case here it's showing here it's showing 200 or uh, 65 millimeters from this one track, from the from the hole on the inboard side of the track, 65 millimeters from the armrest thing. I guess this is C75F11-6 or this side anyway, 11, 12-1. I don't know what the heck this is, whichever one it is. Um, so what we would do here is actually get our line here and we get our ruler and basically from right there we measure out 60 shoot was it 60 I think it was 65 65 so 65 Roughly, it's, it is a little tricky because it's like you measure it from the 
from where the seat support normally rests or where it, you know, it's maximum or whatever. Okay, 65, roughly 65. Again, this is just kind of, it doesn't really matter that much because again, what really matters is that these bolt holes, the distance between them and the distance, uh, the dist well, the distance between them all around so that they're perpendicular to each other. So with this template, really, since we have a template, and I do recommend that you get a template, like either uh, print one out on a really big, well, it's bigger than a piece of computer paper, but print one out uh, or uh, draw one out and, you know, make it out of, it, probably it, if it's kind of rigid, that might be good, but, you know, transfer it to aluminum or something or a 3D print one like I did. In any case, now that we have a template, these lines are just to kind of help us line up the template and so that we kind of keep the template sort of straight in line with the aircraft. As you can see over here, we do have, you know, some room for, you know, kind of some margin for error sort of, but we want to get it fairly centered up um, and, and, you know, pointed towards the, towards the front of the plane. In any case, this actually looks pretty good right where it is here. And again, this is not a square. Okay, so let's tape this down. Fantastic. So, right there, right there, right there, at the very corner of this thing, and right there. And these holes will be like, if we need to drill them a little bit larger to get some tolerance, that's fine, because and we will need to drill them a little bit large for the nut plates, but that should work just fine. And then let's go ahead and get a center point. I made a center notch. So that is our center. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna be useful, but you know, it, it usually comes in handy to know where the center is between, between the items. Super sweet. All right, good. So with everything in place, this should that should take care of like a lot of guesswork. What we're gonna do just to make sure we're not totally wrong, we're going to drill those four holes and then take off this top panel and see if we're correct. And let's make our little marky marks. Tell you what, one of the most annoying things about building an airplane is putting stuff on, putting it together, just to take it apart again, and then put it back together and then take it apart. Oh, it's the worst, but unfortunately it's necessary because I don't have x-ray vision. Now, before we drill out all of the holes, Let's just see how we did in lining this up. Yeah. Boom, right on the money. Wow. Yeah, this one, you know, not quite, uh, perfectly in line but again it's like it doesn't really matter that it's necessarily in the center what matters is that we have enough edge room so that works great you see here you see how these uh you see how these lines right here or, i'm sorry the circles right here the marks where the rivet lines would go for the old seat support when they hit on these new seat supports they're kind of towards the front edge and so you really have to make your center line on here, it's probably like, probably like a centimeter almost. It, wow, it is right about five millimeters. I was right on with that one. This one's a little bit more for some reason. This one's about eight millimeters. You could probably do 10 and be okay. In any case, that'll do. Uh, I got a little bit better over here, more towards the center. So beautiful. That's fantastic. I'll tell you what, man, that's, this, this took me like, I don't know, it felt, well, it's hard to tell. It felt like 15 hours, but I wasn't actually keeping track, but it took a heck of a lot longer without this template, I'll tell you what. Because otherwise you're like, well, maybe if I make this line here and that might be squared up and I don't know, maybe. 
Ugh. Super sweet. All right, so I'm gonna finish, uh, we're gonna finish drilling these out and all this stuff. So then that way we won't have to do as much taking out and putting in and taking out like I did last time. So let's put this back in here. And then we will continue drilling this out. And we will, uh, we will drill all the pilot holes. We will drill all of the rivet holes to size, A5. And we will drill the, what else are we gonna drill? Actually, you know what, I should really click on these guys first. Make sure these match up. We'll drill, yeah, we'll drill the bolt holes, the rivet holes, and we need to drill the nut plate holes, nut plate rivet holes as well. And that's a very important thing to keep in mind. And so, that's what we'll do. So as long as this is just in place, it's not going anywhere. And that's fine. I might need to match dress some stuff later, but that's totally doable. Okay, excellent. This is in place. Fan freaking test. So, uh, actually, we need to lay out some uh, some rivet uh, lines. So uh, let's do that. I'm gonna start a new clip.